Okay, so hopefully there's a difference in the levels of that performance. And we did it by two fundamental changes, yeah? The first one was amount of turn. And the second one was the counterbalance of actions used to, pro to control distance, really, through an action used, rather than just to drift without that action used and a counterbalance. Now, the other thing that we did in the Cucaracha, if you think back, and that's a fundamental principle of Cuban motion that we use when we also travel, is that we spoke about the connection between upper body and leg muscular actions, like the flicking of a knee, and then about settling down through the side into bone through the heel. Now, I think that for the power and the connection of the action and the performance at a higher level to have more effect and more power, to control this shoulder to floor connection from muscle into bone is something that would enhance this performance further. So we're going to try and work on that. And we're going to take our time and work slowly with Sergei and Melia here to see if we can make a difference again. And uh, we're going to start mostly here with Melia. Uh, and I'm going to try and work Melia's shoulders into, through muscle into bone and see if we can get a greater connection with the floor and therefore a more powerful performance. Let's just have a try. We're going to start with the beginning and take our time very slowly. I'm going to change Melia's hip position so that she's more centered and four and one and two and three going over connected through here and four and one and then we're going to time when she goes into bone through the shoulder here then it's an early knee to two going over into past and don't just move that leg Melia let's do it again connected with the other shoulder and three and four and one keeping a center in a spine and two making room in the body for the leg and three and starting to breathe this side from this bone four and one and keeping our left side long now because it's an outside turn two and focused three and very good uh, four and one so we have the connection here between muscle and then we're going to go towards Sergei and one and two and three and four and one and and I'm connecting again through the bone on the way off two and three and four and one diagonal pendulum here then we're going to continue and we're going to have a special effect here from the point of view of top level of performance I'd like Melia to wait longer which means time longer going into bone two and three then we get a psh and four and one and then breathe and release two three four one let's just have a look at the fan position again I'd like Melia to delay as long as possible here and two three psh, right better. So there is a lot of usage of the partnering here between the man's spine and the man's thigh and the lady deliberately delaying through compression for a psh effect. And then there's a melting into bone through shoulders, through the sides and the musicality of the sides of the upper body muscularity here. It's better. 
Let's try that with some music. Okay, so those are the uh, principles of connection through weight into bone with an action in the center to the floor that can give the legs definition, make the feet look better, and make the whole performance more powerful. In relation to Sergei in this group, this amalgamation, there are not quite so many issues with the floor, but a couple of things I would like to uh, try and improve as a teaching method to help you is first of all there are two fan positions and I'd like to talk about that the first one is standard we connect through here we go into fan position there two and three so this is getting the body over for four one past the thigh and then it's the standard forward walk turning on a sense of delay still connecting towards each other forwards all the time connected two and three and then allowing the action to become the lead and four and one and now in this position that's different the other fan position that Sergei Melia use here is a rock fan where the man doesn't do the forward walk turning and the checked forward walk, he just rocks between. Now, that's fine. However, I did use rock fans when, when I danced, but they are an exception. So for example, if a couple have five fan positions, one rock fan as an exception is okay. If they only have one or two, and they are a rock fan only, then it's not okay, because it's no longer an exception. Uh, in the rock fan position, when we come from into the fan, our spines are delayed through muscularity and they're together. Four and one and two. Now the man through the back, through the muscularity, is delaying the woman who's on a take and the man does two, three and a four. Two, three and a four and one and then relates intimately to the woman dropping her weight so let's have a look at that again four and one and a lot of upper body muscularity here two three and a four and one and relax Try it, Sergei. Let's see. It's a lot to ask. I'm sure you can do it. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four breathing the body and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and here's the rock fan and four and one and two three and a four one two three four one much better